everybody and welcome back to another one of my vlogs. I am looking a lot worse for wear but that's alright because I've been in bed all morning and some of the early afternoon editing so much honestly. I finished editing my makeup collection that's gone up. Everybody's loving it which is great. I haven't done one of those in a long long time. I'm watching one of Soph's new videos. Well, actually, I don't think it's one of her new ones. I think it was uploaded last week, but I'm very slow at catching up with YouTube. Um, but yeah, um, and then I edited one of my vlogs. I just got to add music to it. And then I'm editing my really, really long Get Ready With Me. Like being honest and talking about stuff. Um, I'm gonna do an updated life update, Get Ready With Me, because obviously things have changed since the Get Ready With Me video. Um, so yeah, um, I'm over it now, but so many people are still asking. I thought, you know what, if I do one video just to address everything, then that's it done. So I've done my makeup, it's quite a bit lot late. It's quite a lot later now, but I rush around during the week. I really wanted a really chill weekend, so that's what I'm going with. It's about three o'clock. Yeah, just gone three. So I am meeting Charlotte. We're going to Spoons. I'm so excited. I am also very, very hungry as always. I'm going to show you my outfit in the mirror. I know I wore this last week. My mum washed it for me because I wanted to wear it this weekend if I was going out. And I am. So she did. Um, but I don't have my black bra. So I've got a blue one on, which does look a bit odd. Um, I know, but you know, it's the one that goes best with this bodysuit from Misguided, which they've got a massive sale on at the moment. So I may be. So I put the flush on, which I know is going to affect how you can see, well you can see this. But I'm finally wearing my Adidas jacket that I got from the Vintage Clothes Sale. I absolutely love it and I think it looks great with this outfit. I've gone for all black today. I don't normally always go for this sort of thing, but we're going for it. I've got my black shoes on from Primark, everything. And I've got my black handbag because I just think, you know what, I'm not going to wear a pink handbag with this outfit. It'll look a bit weird. So yeah, I'm feeling good. I am feeling a lot more fresh and I just absolutely love this jacket. I'm so glad I decided to pick it up and not put it back because I was on. So I've been really, really productive. I've spent a little bit of money, but not too much because I did some more Mother's Day shopping. I'm all done now. Um, but basically, Debenhams tried them on. The changing room was absolutely disgusting. I have never experienced anything like it, ever. It was vile, it was absolutely gross. Um, what it tastes like? Ah. Hold on a bit. Fuel. Because I've got the stamp card, so I want to get as many so then I can get free drink. Mm. It's a berry of some mm. sort. It's loads of loads of berries. You've got strawberries, raspberries, yeah. blueberries, blackberries. Yeah. yeah, it's a mixture of berries yeah. then. Yeah. Mm. It does, it smells really, really good. Oh, thank you. Mm. Although I am excited for pizza tonight, I'm not going to lie. Is this corn? Yeah, no. It's, uh... Plant kitchen. Oh, no mince meat. No meat mince, even. No. So it's, yeah, it's suitable for... Because I was wondering, if you're making cottage pie, how the hell can they eat it? That's why. Yeah, that's why I'm doing it, love. No, now. these are from Primark. Oh, right. I got these quite a while back. These what are about my the leggings? You put, no, these you are from M&S, remember? That's right. Yeah. I didn't realise these are sports ones. Probably everybody knows that, but I didn't. It doesn't matter, though. It looks no, very nice. Mm. Mum wasn't too sure on this bodysuit with the... Comb, I'm going to give you a quick haul in the kitchen of what I got. So from my local shop, just for some snacks, I got some cheese puffs. I also got some carrots and hummus dip because I do really love this. And then I also got some cheese twists because although my local shop isn't the co-op, they stock co-op food. Um, and these were only £1.50 and I've had not, cheese, not had cheese twists in a very long time. These are the books I got. So I got the Cook's Corner Tasty Brunch over 150 mid-morning meals. Um, I'm not a cook, I do not cook very well at all, but I do love brunch, it's one of my favourite meals of the day, the Cozy Club got me into it, which we're going to for Mother's Day, me, Grandma and Mum, but they've got all sorts of different ideas and things that I probably would never have tried before and it was on offer for £2.50, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to get it because it retails for £5.99, so why not? I got my book back from Grandma's, which is this one, which is the first one in the Lindsay Kelk I Heart series. Um, and the next one 
these ones but obviously i can't read any of the other ones that i've already bought from the series until i finish this one which i haven't got too much longer to go but i find they finally in the works had um i heart london so i've picked this up and it sounds amazing so i can't wait to get to that but they do three for only five pounds which is amazing so i've got meet me in san francisco um so these are my sort of books i love these sort of books um so yeah very excited and then this one which is a bit different is summer of secrets on the eve of world war ii a woman's secrets lead her into danger now i'm i love history like fiction books love them so well you know what i'll get one of those too um and in the shop you could buy them for two pound each but like the actual price retails for 8.99 I'm at my grandma's and I'm actually sitting down all to do paperwork because I called ahead and um, Lynn said I could use her laptop because it saved me having to carry mine through town. Um, so I've got my notebook and I'm going to get started because, oh, is that a piece of hair? Yeah, um, I want to get started because um, I just, I want to get it done. Um, but I met some really lovely people in town. I met a girl from my old school in Primark who watches my videos. Um, and so that was really lovely. I also saw my work colleague and her daughter. It was, it's been good and I spent some money. So I'll show you the bits I got, but I didn't spend too much. And yeah, so. And I'm gonna be wrapping all my Mother's Day stuff later, as I mentioned. So we're gonna have a productive day. It's only 25 past three, so it's fine. I just need to get on. And my not nails aren't too long, so I can still type. Quickly just popping up to see if my grandma wants a coffee. Grandma? Yeah? Do you want a coffee? I don't want it, darling. Come on. Yeah, me and Lynn said you wouldn't be able to hear us because she had your hair dryer on. Um, would you like a coffee? Yes, I think I would. Yes. Are you it? No, Lynn is, because I'm doing more oh, work. Right. Yeah. yeah, tell her, yes, please. I've started my work now. Well, I will have done. Yeah, okay, so. darling. All right. All right. Yeah, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> that's all right that's okay um but yes yeah, so i did have a good time in town i didn't spend too much but yeah now i am excited to get it done because to be honest it's something that i just i don't put off but i just think do i have to do it which obviously i do but i've got a new notebook this was supposed to be for youtube oh my god throwback best of beauty 2018 Hello. I talk to dogs the same way I talk to babies. Just like, you are. But I know loads of people that do that, so I'm not ashamed. Hello. Do you want a biscuit? Do you want a biscuit? Come on then. Let's get a biscuit. We all know that's the only reason why you're showing me any love or affection. Right, careful. Stay. Stay there. There's not enough room for you to fit through. Stay. See whether you're obedient. Stay. Good girl. One biscuit. One. Actually, lot because Lynn will kill me. <laughs> oh. But we have got some plans because I thought I'd have a chat while I'm just sorting this out so I don't have to concentrate yet. Um, basically, I have to, like, this weekend, this coming weekend, I'm getting my nails done, as I said. And then on the Sunday, we're going Cozy Club, but it's my grandma's wedding anniversary on the saturday her diamond so obviously that's a really big deal even though my granddad's not here she's still married to him do you know what i mean so we were gonna go out but because of money and stuff it's just easier if we have a nice family night in i think that's great though because we can just have a like a chinese or something because that's really really cheap and our favorite place is delicious we haven't been there in ages and me and my mum have conveniently been saying like coincidentally been saying that we are craving a, ch night chi mm, a chinese takeaway so i thought right perfect opportunity it's really really cheap it'll be like hardly anything to split it um, and we don't have to pay, to del pay delivery fee because it's literally right next door to my grandma's. Like it's only like two minute walk. Perfect. We can have some wine to celebrate. Obviously Lynn can't because she does Lent because she's really well restrained like that. But um, yeah, so we can do that. And I'm going to bring around Crazy Rich Asians because I know it'll be Lynn's cup of tea because it is so funny. And I'm pretty sure grandma will like it too. So 
I'm going to watch that as well. So I thought it'd be a really nice night, family night in, because we want to celebrate it because it is a big thing for my grandma as well. And obviously we don't want her to, you know, because I'll see my granddad's not here anymore. So I haven't got her anything for it because I have Mother's Day this is the next day and I've spent money on that. And obviously I'm taking them to the cozy club. So yeah but that will sort of be entwined with my grandma's if that makes sense so like her wedding anniversary gift from me will be the cozy club and you know i i try to treat her to little things every so often anyway so yeah i don't know why i'm trying to justify why i haven't got her a, you know but it's sort of like everything's happening this month we've got that then we've got the um long easter weekend so we're making loads of plans for that we've got higher car so we've got to pay like 50 quid each for that um because we're going to some places i want to go to and we're all just sort of pitching in because that's what family does um so yeah i'm like freaking not freaking out because you know at the end of the day i'm spending time with family and that's what matters but i have got babysitting which is why i'm not freaking out because i've got the padding for it so yeah so it should be good but obviously i've got really loads of plans for amber which i'm really excited for in the easter holidays um so we're going to be filming some challenge videos we're also going to film like a come shopping with us well on my channel anyway i think she might be vlogging it i'm not sure um but a get like come shopping with us brunch and all that because we're going to go to the cozy club which will be really really nice so i've got those sort of things which i don't mind spending my money for because it's memories and it's fun having a laugh but obviously it's just making sure I don't do too much shopping and I have been paid a week early, which I've got to remember. I cannot spend too much, which I haven't done. I spent £16 in Primark. I spent £4 in Waitrose, which is healthy foods because I got those for me and mum. Um, she gave me a bit of a shopping list and in Superdrug I spent a fiver and then I had I spent three pound in Tesco's I was going to use my cash but I had like all the loose change and I could not be bothered to get out the money like try and count it all because it was a really big queue I was like no not doing that so I just paid by card um but yeah I've got babysitting coming up so it'll be fine um yeah so outline why legislation relating to employment exists include the rights of the employee and employee making notes and reading through sources and the links for like over an hour is 20 to 5 um but i'm making leeway i've just got to type up now all the stuff that i've written down one of my favorite things to do are my maps literally i love doing these in school especially in english they were just really helpful so yeah and if you're wondering because i do get asked where i get my notebooks from this is a um three subject notebook i'm only get my stationery from poundland because i only really use notebooks for coursework and i don't see the point of spending loads of money on a notebook that you're going to use for coursework and in this one you've also got like the math sheets as well um and in the back i've got addresses of people which i've only just realized which is actually quite handy So I've done all my coursework, which I'm really, really happy about. I'm just going to show Grandma what I bought because she wanted to see. Also, Lynn's given me a pair of 
the old style Apple headphones um, because she doesn't have any Apple devices anymore. She's never used them. So I'm going to use this for my old phone, which when I go to London, I will remember to bring with me um, so I can use that as an iPod so I can save the battery on this phone. Um, so that's really kind of her. So I'm going to chuck them in there so I don't forget them. I'm going to go show Grandma what I bought in town today. It's one of my favourite things to do, but I'm just so, so happy that I've done all my coursework. I've done all my coursework. You have? Yes. Oh, well done, darling. So, oh, oh, hang on. From Superdrug, I got some new brow products. So I just got these, were really cheap. It cost me five pounds for yeah. both of them, like, all together. So I've got my tinted brow gel. Mm -hmm. it, I'm trying to find a cheaper yeah, I know. alternative. Wow. So these are the bits I picked up from Waitrose for me and Mum just for our salad. We're going to have salad with salmon and fish cakes, I believe, tonight for dinner. So I've got some radishes, I've got some peppers, which I'll buy some hummus for at some point as well. So I'll have some of those with hummus. Um, i got some little gem lettuces and then cucumber. They only had the organic. We're not like, I so know organic is better for you or something about like the pesticides and stuff. So it's all literally natural stuff. But obviously they are more expensive, although they didn't have any of their normal cucumbers. So I've been back home for about half an hour and I'm going to show you all the stuff that I bought for my mum and grandma for Mother's Day um, yesterday. And I'm also going to show you the makeup bits that I picked up from Superdrug and Primark. There's not too many, but I'm going to take some videos for my Lily's Beauty page, um, especially the Primark um, palette that I got because I'm very excited about it because it is such a dupe for very high, like for a high-end product. So... So these are the bits I picked up. So I got this for my mum. Basically, you put three, is it three, no, two AAA batteries in and then these um, LED lights light up. And I just thought that was so cute and it's so true as well. And my mum's current, like, recently redone her room, like, reorganised it. So I thought that would look really nice. So my grandma, this is all from Card Factory, by the way, unless I say it isn't. Um, um, I thought this was so cute. I have never got her anything like this. Look how cute that is. It's just really really sweet um i don't know how much this one was um because there wasn't a price on it so i don't know 1.99 so really really cheap and it's just so cute i love the little pack um i got two packs of this really cute tissue paper gift wrap um to wrap everything in and it comes with some really cute tags i got the last two but i know they'll restock um but yeah i got those i got my grandma's mother's day card so it says a message for a special grandma on mother's day first my grandma always my friend when something really good happens you're the one i love to share it with because i know that seeing me happy makes you happy too when something is troubling me you're the one i want to talk it over with because you understand me so well and always seem to know exactly how to help um it doesn't have and then on this bit it goes and when something i see or hear says stirs a lovely memory you're the one who who's usually right at the heart of it because time spent with you have always brought feelings of comfort warmth and a wonderful sense of belonging so if something needs saying today is a massive thank you for all the happiness you bring for everything you do for me and for you being for being so amazing. I only hope you know how loved you are and just how much it's always meant to have a wonderful grandma like you. Happy Mother's Day. A, she loves butterflies and this card has butterflies dotted over. B, the words are so apt I couldn't even have worded it better myself. And see, it's just a gorgeous card and it was £1.79. card, which is a lot different, um, but trust me, she'll appreciate this card. It's from one of our favourite homeware shops. It says, I might be a little shit, but I'm your little shit. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> it was £2.95, but it's so us. Like, I know some people might go, oh, it's an inappropriate Mother's Day card. Well, I know my mum will love it and it's so us, so I don't really care. I got this from Card Factory um as a car for my mum like whenever I think she just needs a little pick me up because she loves gin whenever we go to one of our local pubs she always has a rhubarb gin um so yeah gin and bear I thought was very apt I got gift bags so this is my mum's gift bag which I will be taking to the cozy club with us so we each have their gift bag to open in the go cozy club so this is my mum's one and then this is my grandma's one because I didn't have a grandma gift bag so it just says wonderful people should have beautiful things um i got my grandma this photo frame so i'll be taking a picture with her at some point this week or at the weekend to put it in um to put in it but i'm i just thought it was absolutely gorgeous once again got butterflies lavender one of her favorite plants and then this is for my mum it's a really practical gift it was 3.99 it's a handbag organizer now it's not massive but my mum never has really big handbags so she could put her phone in there put other bits in the actual compartment she's got a notebook and a pen it's a really practical gift and i know she'll really 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 appreciate that so these are the other things I picked up from, so from Superdrug, I picked up these, both from MUA. So I got the MUA 
brow defined tinted brow mascara i have no idea how good this is going to be i've got mine in the shade fair i've always wanted to try one that's affordable so yeah i decided to pick that up that was only two pounds and then this was three pounds it's the brow defined eyebrow pencil with a blending brush um, and I've never seen anything quite like it. This is also in fair. I don't know whether this will suit me because um, they're fair colouring so I don't tend to suit my eyebrows. However, if it doesn't, this was only £3. I can sanitise it, give it away to someone and then get the light brown because they tend to do suit me. But I just didn't know what to do so I just picked this up. Um, I'm very excited to try it because I love the Benefit Brow Pencil but I want to try and find something cheaper if possible. If I can't then I'll just give up but I thought I'd give that a go. And Primark had so many new makeup products, I kid you not, I had to restrain myself. But I picked up two packs of the oval cotton pads because I use them on the daily. But the exciting things, I picked up the matte oil free mattifying skin primer. I've never seen one of these in my local Primark in this format. It's from their Prep and Perfect range. It was £3 and I'm really, really excited. And then also from the Prep and Perfect range, I've got the Illuminate Skin Illuminator Highlighter Cream and Illuminating Base in Champagne. Now, it does look quite dark, but it's the lightest one they did. Um, and I'm assuming a little can go a long way. You can put this on top as a highlighter or you can use it as like a base underneath. I'm really excited to give it a go. It was £3.50, which I didn't think was too bad. They had a warm rose, which was gorgeous, but it just I don't think that would have suited me. But we'll give it a go. Um, and when I do a Primark base giveaway, expect to see at least one of these um, in there because I just think they're really interesting and worth a try. But this is the thing I'm most excited for. It's the Double Take Eye and Base Palette. This was £8, um, which at first I was thinking, oh, you know, but I was thinking, you know what, no, I'm going to grab it. So... This strikes me as a very strong dupe as one of the Urban Decay releases they did. So on one side you get eyeshadows. They are all metallic, so you couldn't create necessarily a whole look with this if you wanted some mattes. But you get those, and then on the other side you get two blushes, a highlight, and a bronzer. Now, Roasted is definitely a shade I would use. Um, so I can see myself using all these shades, even the eyeshadows as well, except this blush maybe, but I might try it, who knows. I would have said this isn't a peach shade, i say this is a peach shade, but who knows. Um, but yeah, I love the look of the highlighter and the bronzer, like honestly, I am buzzing to give this a go. I have wrapped all of my grandma's gift no my mum's gifts and I haven't wrapped any of my grandma's yet because quite frankly I just want to chill now um but that's fine I can do that during the week I know I want to get it all done but it's good I've done my mum's and she's the one that I really need to get done because obviously I live with her so if I was wrapping them during the week or on Saturday she could walk in and so they're all done dinner's currently being done and I just thought I'd take this moment to take the opportunity to talk to you about some collaborations that I have planned with some brands. Now, on my Elise Beauty page, I had on a couple of posts of full outfits that I've done in the mirror, um, I got loads of small companies and bigger companies message me and ask to collab and give me discount codes and stuff like that. So you may or may not have noticed that on my Lily's Beauty Instagram page, I now have my discount codes and what companies I'm currently working with. So the Calab the Calab Bar collection, I have a 25% off discount code, which is Lily's B25, all caps, um, no spaces. Um, and they have a very big range of clothing and I am ordering this coming weekend, it's not the weekend that I'm filming this, but the weekend you'll be watching this, um, I will be ordering my own bodysuit because I do get 50% off every single purchase I make. Um, there is no sort of like money or anything. I do not get, a, it's not an affiliate code basically. If you use my code or if you use any swipe ups I, that I do on my Instagram story um, promoting them, you do not, you, I do get, I get nothing from that. If you get what I mean, I get no money. Um, so... I will explain because I'm very honest because I don't want people to think that I'm just working with a brand that I know nothing about because they sent me all the information. They were really, really easy to talk to. Their Instagram is amazing. They've got 258,000 followers, which does make them look a lot more sort of like legit because obviously when you get messaged to, to do a collab or get given a discount code or discount site wide you think oh hang on a minute is it legit but you know and i know youtubers and instagrammers that have worked with them so that's why i'm like okay this sounds like a great deal 
um, and you have to apply on their website to become an ambassador slash promoter. So I did that and I got a message going, thanks for that, congratulations babe, you're officially a TCC influencer and we're delighted to welcome you to the family. I've set up your code so you can get 50% off all your future purchases, simply enter the code I've got. I also set up your personal referral discount code for your followers, 25% off Lily's B25, I'll put it on the screen now. Feel free to pop this in your bio with the colour, at the colour bar collection, which I have done. Now all that is left is to get started. We're in the last few weeks of our new ambassador promo. Spend $250 um, dollars to receive a not for sale ambassador custom brace that we also offer all influencers modeling opportunities if that's something that interests you. Plus by making an order with the TCC VIP discount code, you'll get double entries into the draw to win a trip for you and your bestie to win um, five nights to Bali. You can now go ahead and make your first purchase. Um, and I sent them a screenshot of the thing that I'm most excited about which is this bodysuit. I don't know how well you can see. Oh, me, and it could be a potential birthday option. I'm just really excited to buy it, and I'm buying it this coming weekend. Um, so, yeah, I'm just so, so excited. I have been, I have put them on my Instagram stories, and I have talked about them a little bit, but I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to really go into depth. Um, I am still an influencer for GMX Glitters, and I do really love them still. I've got loads of other ones. Um... I had loads of loads of them message me saying they want to collab with me and I was a bit like oh my god what in the world is happening because you think if you have a small platform and you share stuff on Instagram and YouTube you don't think you're going to get recognised but honestly you do so oh my god that made me jump <sighs> honestly if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel or starting your own Instagram page based on fashion, beauty or whatever the hell you want to do not think if you've got a small following, you're not going to get recognised by bigger or even smaller brands. I love supporting home run businesses or little, little companies that are trying to grow in the world. I'm so happy to support them if they are promoting things that I agree with or I want to buy myself. Because I would never promote a brand that I wouldn't want to buy products from myself. Because what's the point? If you don't agree or if you don't like the brand, what the hell is the point? What is the logic of supporting a brand for a discount code? if you're not going to buy stuff yourself so i will be buying from them this coming weekend which i'm super super excited about it's kind of insane but yeah and also as i mentioned before but since i'm sat down here when i hit 1300 subscribers i will be doing a giveaway um it's of the primark gift set that i've shown you on my instagram page definitely go check out my lily's beauty instagram to see that and other variety of posts of beauty products and my life um, and I will also be doing a Primark base giveaway. I'm not sure when I'm going to be doing that with like a variety of Primark products. I don't know whether I'll do a big one so there could be more than one winner or if I'm just going to do one for one winner. I'm not too sure yet and I don't know what milestone I want to hit. But that will be coming at some point too so keep your eyes peeled. But yeah, that is literally it. I am happily munching on my co-op cheese puffs and I will be eating my dinner and i'm gonna be watching some gossip girl and bits and pieces like that but please let me know in the comments if you like this sort of backdrop like i'm thinking about sorting out my background bamping it up a bit changing it up instead of just filming in front of my wall because i do know people go you need to brighten up a bit get some bunting or something but i do want to change it up i loved when i filmed amber's like with her bed in the background and it's just her room is so gorgeous like it is my dream bedroom it's so instagram friendly and just literally what every girl would want in life but I'm thinking about changing up my bedding. I want to get marble duvet set. I want to get some new cushions. I want to revamp my wall. Um, and thinking about sitting on my bed and filming. So let me know what you think. So I know a lot of YouTubers do do that. But I just haven't. With this vlog. Please excuse the mess behind me. It's just my life you know. What can I say? But I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to smash a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. Because that would mean the world. And yeah. Hi to all my new subscribers. Because I'm seeming to get quite a few new ones. So hi. Thank you for joining my little family. And yeah. Keep tuned for some exciting content. Because as I mentioned before. In the Easter holidays. There is some good content coming your way. I am so excited. So yeah. I am buzzing for that. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you in my next vlog or video. Whichever one you watch first. Bye.